Now for part C, what we've got to do is find the value of t. And to find the value of t, we return to the area under the graph. Remember the area under a speed time graph represents the distance travelled. And that distance is 885 metres. So we just need to work out the area of this shape and equate it to 885 and solve for t. Now when it comes to working out the area of this shape we can split it into two triangles, a triangle here, a triangle on the end here and a rectangle. But that's a slow approach. It's much easier to recognize that this shape here is a trapezium and assuming you're familiar with the formula for the area of a trapezium you could then use that. It's a lot quicker. The area of a trapezium then, remember, is a half the sum of the parallel sides. So it's half multiplied by this side plus this side. And then it's multiplied by the distance between the two parallel sides, this length here. And we'll equate that to 885. And then solve for t. So you might like to have a go at that actually. So just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll run through the solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Let's just see how you got on. So the area of the trapezium then will be a half multiplied by the sum of the parallel sides. So we've got this top side here, which is going to be t. OK, the length will be t. So put that down as t. And then we've got to plus it to the length of this side, which is clearly going to be 4t, plus, oh, 4t over 3 plus 6. So 4 thirds t plus 6. And we multiply this by the distance between the parallel sides. So that's going to be 15. And that equals 885. Now, there's many ways you could go about solving this. But uh, what I notice is that 15 goes clearly into 885 exactly. So I could divide both sides by 15. So that gives me 15 is 15 is 1. And divide 885 by 15 and you get 59. So I now got half of, let's have a look here. What have we got in here? We've got half of 1t plus 4 thirds t, so that's going to be 7 thirds t plus 6, and that's going to equal 59. So let's expand the bracket, and we get 7 over 6 times t plus half of 6, which is 3, equals 59. And if I take 3 from both sides, we've got 7 sixths t equals 59 take away 3, which is 56. Multiply both sides by 6 and divide by 7, and you get t equals 56 times 6 divided by 7. And that comes to a total of 48. So therefore, t equals 48. All right, so hopefully that's given you an idea then how to go about that part of the question.